So that's what the Buckeyes needed to do here, keep the offense rolling, moving into Maryland this week now before the final two games of the season at Michigan State next week. You know, never mind their record, still expecting a tough game there. Didn't know what to expect a whole lot today out of Maryland. You know, I mean, I expected a Buckeyes victory, but I did not expect to see how the game started. I mean, Curtis Samuel and JT Barrett were just alternating touchdowns. The whole first drive was pretty much Curtis Samuel. Seems to be the thing now. They're getting him involved early each week. Caps it off with a TD here. Then the next drive, JT Barrett runs it in. Maryland mixes in a field goal there, so it's 14-3 to at that point. Feeling like, look, Maryland can get a stop here and a score, maybe make this a game. They were unable to, though. Because then they just go back to Samuel. This time he catches a touchdown pass. And they go back to JT running the ball for a touchdown. Then <laughs> Curtis Samuel runs one in for a touchdown. It's like, oh, man, they're just they're making this look so easy. They're just going to troll them here and just keep alternating JT and Curtis Samuel touchdowns. Then JT is technically in on the next one, but he throws a touchdown pass to Dontre Wilson. Already pretty much relieving Curtis Samuel early in the first half here. Yeah, early in the game. It was late in the first half. He might have even snuck in there that first series in the second half. So, you know, he went over 100 total yards, five or six catches, 70, 80 yards, four or five carries, 40, 50 yards, touchdowns both ways, three total today for Samuel, two, two rushing, one receiving. JT also had the two touchdown passes to go with his two rushing. He put up some, some passing stats. Again, he was relieved early for Burrow. I believe JT might have played a series or two in the second half. So with 45 to 3 at halftime, Buckeye sneak in a field goal there. Durbin, I think it was his longest one of the year, 45 yard field goal, making it 45 to 3. First drive of the second half, Buckeyes have to settle for another field goal, 48 to 3. But Maryland, I don't know, maybe on their third, fourth, fifth quarterback at this point, it seemed like it just not, couldn't get anything going on offense. They were, I, I could imagine Maryland fans being frustrated. So a little bit of what I see from Ohio State at times where. They just kept trying to run the ball to the outside. And to their credit, they were going for it on fourth and short. And I believe that finally they did try to run one up the middle on fourth and short. I don't know if they had, They may have tried to pass one. But they just kept trying to run the ball to the outside, and it just wasn't happening. They were not only not getting first downs, they might have even lost a yard or two. Uh, they, you know, they turned the ball over a couple times. I believe it was at least two interceptions today. Can't remember which Buckeye got the pick there early in the game, but that got a go. Austin Mack also got in there, you know, slowly coming along. Big block from Austin Mack today. One of the un, probably one of the unsung plays when you score 62 points, but I think it was on a McCall. Maybe McCall caught the ball, picked up 20, 30 yards on a reception thanks to an Austin Mack block. Thought that was nice. The Marcus Ball hurdle. You've probably seen that by now if you've been watching Fox Sports 1 or ESPN. I don't even know. Is Fox Sports not allowed to show that? Are they allowed to show ESPN stuff? So, let's see, he had that. That was a nice play. They, they gave his numbers right away, 6'5", 265 pounds. He hurtled out. I mean, the guy from Maryland was looking to go low. He was looking to do nothing, really. He was like, oh, man, this guy's an animal coming at me. And Marcus Ball just hurdles right over him, picks up a few additional yards. And, uh, you know, then Benjamin Victor, freshman, I was like, Benjamin Victor, I got to look this cat up. Burrow threw a touchdown pass to him, making it, I believe, yeah, that was the 62-3. to Tough to look old Benjamin up. He spells his name B I N I. Ben or B B I N J I Jamin Benjamin. So I don't know. He got a he's a freshman. Who knows? Late in the year, man. But we need some receivers to do something. Something. KJ Hill looked all right today. So 62-3 final score. The Terps. I can't remember what I predicted the score to be. I knew you know I didn't expect this kind of route, but didn't expect the Turtles to do much. Do not fear the turtle, not just yet, although they need to get their act together. I mean, can we trade them back to the ACC and Rutgers and their ass back to the American Conference? I mean, we'll take them. We'll take them in basketball and other sports, but it's three years now, man. We all doing with that Under Armour cash. All right, so they won some games this year. They're, they're picking it up, but look, it's like Nebraska learned last week. There's the top tier of the Big Ten, Penn State, Ohio State, Michigan right now. And then there's the middle tier, and then there's the bottom tier. Maryland, unfortunately, is on the brink of that bottom tier right now. Fear of the turtle, we do not. Not just yet. All right, guys. Boom. We're out of here.